This is a Lancia Delta crank position sensor. You'll be familiar with this. Uh, it's a source of a lot of our problems. It's a Magneti Morelli item. It's commonly used on uh, Fiat's uh, and Italian vehicles and uh, other vehicles worldwide. It's an induction sensor in that it needs no electrical input from the vehicle. It makes its own electricity. This is like a little electric motor basically. There's a copper coil with a magnetic rod down the middle. And when that magnetic rod is uh, altered, has its um, magnetic field altered in any way, it makes a uh, creates an electric charge in the coil which is sent down this wire to the ECU. The alteration in the, in the magnetic field of that rod is caused by the four teeth of the crankshaft pulley passing close to it. So the tooth comes around, alters the magnetic field, a slight charge is made in the coil, it goes up that wire to the ECU and plugs in. Now, this item, it has a resistance, that coil has a resistance of 612 to 748 ohms. Now we can measure that. Can measure that with the multimeter. So we will set the multimeter to 20,000 ohms and we can um, let's get that so you can see that. We touch that one on there and then we'll touch that one on there and you can see that it has a reading of about 500 ohms, 520 ohms, which isn't quite enough, but it's pretty good. Now, we can also check the voltage which is created when we pass a piece of metal across there. The voltage, I've got the spec sheet here, downloaded from the um, Magneti Morelli website. It's an SEN 8D sensor. There's all the particulars. Typical application crank, cam wheel, max operator air gap. So that's important. That's our air gap that we need, the space between the teeth and the sensor. Speed range, output 400 millivolts. So that's 0.4 of a volt. Now we can test this and um, see what voltage it is actually producing. So here's our multimeter again, it's set to volts. There's our, there's our sensor, there's the end which hooks into the car. So we'll hook that up there, we'll plug that in, we've got a um, spare socket there, we'll put that in and we've got the sensors piercing oh that one's come off there okay we'll stick that on we'll shove that in there like that and hold it on with tape right so now we should be able to take this pass this screwdriver in front of it and see what kind of current it generates see what voltage it generates so it's point it's going up to point, point 0.42, point 0.52, point 0.86, so it's giving a good voltage. So cable, there's a wire in and a wire out, and then it's shielded. It's got a uh, metal wire right around the, the uh, whole lot, all the way down, and then it's got this plastic outer on. So you can just about see it there, actually. Um, where it's worn through. Now we've a problem on a car at the moment and uh, there's no visible fault on the end so we took the whole thing off and strangely enough it's it was sliced in exactly that position so 
Uh, I'm not sure where what happens there, where that is, probably behind the alternator. Maybe it's got caught on the alternator um, pulley. Anyway, uh, it was sliced in exactly the same place. It sliced through the outer and through one wire, it was invisible to see. You couldn't see it from unless you took this whole thing off the car. So we took it off the car, cut it, put um, two good lengths of wire in, taped it up, joined it to see if we could get the car going. Well, the car fired, uh, but wouldn't, wouldn't turn over and misfired. So all I can assume is, that this, this is the only thing to be changed on it, all I can assume is that the unshielded cable that we joined this up with was being the signal from the sensor to the ECU was being interrupted by uh, interference from the engine on the unshielded cable. Uh, this might be right, it might be wrong, but anyway, we've ordered a new one, uh, a whole new unit, so we'll, we'll fit that on uh, tomorrow, the next day, so that'll be fine. But anyway, that's, um, that's our sensor, quite a simple thing, but it's got to be in tip-top condition to work. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.